Hi, I'm Rod, and in today's video, we're going to look at making some plastic bins to organize all those small parts around the workshop. Stay tuned. The ultimate goal of this project will be to build a large parts cabinet that has drawers that hold lots of small bins of various sizes for different nuts and bolts and screws and parts around the workshop. In this video, we're just going to focus on the small plastic bins themselves. I saw a video online that I really liked of a gentleman who 3D printed lots of small boxes of various different sizes for all the small parts that he wanted to put in his parts cabinet. However, I discovered that it took several months to 3D print all the necessary boxes and I don't know how much the 3D printer filament must have cost. However, his video was excellent and inspiring and I'll include a link in the comment. Ultimately, I decided to order 18 inch by 24 inch by 1 8 inch thick plastic sheets and cut the bins out on my CNC router. The machine time is about 20 minutes per sheet and assembly is on average one to two minutes per box. On my calculations, there's between 18 and 24 man hours to produce the more than 600 boxes I estimate I'll need for this project. I decided to make the base unit of the bins two inches by two inches. All other size bins will be an expansion of that base unit to allow me to mix and match based on the part size. For example, two by fours, two by sixes, four by fours, four by sixes, etc. The bins are one and a half inches tall. The first thing to do was to create the CAD drawings and the tool paths for the plastic sheets. In this video, we'll be using a sheet that cuts 12 2x2 bins and 3 2x4 bins. The first tool path is a drill pattern drilling holes in the waste areas of the sheet. I used bugle head wood screws to screw the sheet down to a sacrificial MDF board on the bed of the CNC machine. This prevents the plastic sheet from bowing up in the middle affecting the depth of the cuts. The next cut utilizes the 90 degree V-bit to cut shallow 1 16th inch deep grooves near the tops of the bins. These grooves are finger pulls that will help the user pick up the bins. The four edges of the box bottom are cut almost all the way through with the 90 degree V-bit. The last cut with the 90 degree V-groove bit is the corners of the bins. They are cut to the same 1 8 inch depth as the plastic sheathing. After changing to a spiral upcut bit, the tops of the bins are cut and the CNC milling is now complete. The flat bin cutouts, which I call blanks, are now separated from the sheet. Sometimes this requires a little help and cleanup with a utility knife. If you would like a copy of the CAD drawings and the CNC toolpaths, just leave a request in the comment section below. After testing a number of different types of glue, I determined that the two-part epoxy was the best solution for bonding the sides of the bins, despite the time involved in mixing the two parts. It's important to heat the blanks to make them more malleable. Initially, I used a heat gun, but then discovered that warming them in an oven was more efficient. Once the blanks were warm and malleable, I applied the epoxy to the edges, folded them together, and used a rubber band as a clamp. Once the epoxy cured, I removed the rubber band and any excess epoxy or rough edges on a belt sander. The bins are now complete and strong and ready to be used. I hope you found this project useful. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching.